Welcome to Zoological World Today we are discuss about Glen of Amal Terrier The Glen of Amal was nicknamed the Turnspit Dog, because they were sometimes used in a mechanical contraption that turned meat over an open fire. The Glen of Amal Terrier is a tough but fun-loving dog, built for the rough terrain of the Irish Valley that bears its name. Growing up in the hills of Wicklow County, south of Dublin, this dog was bred as a badger hunter and general farm dog and companion. But unlike many other terriers, its natural instinct is to pursue the prey silently instead of alerting its owner with loud barks. It was first recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2004. The Glen of Amal is characterized by a broad head, short legs, and downturned ears. The water-resistant double coat consists of a rough outer layer and a soft lower layer with longer furnishings around the neck, ears, legs, and stomach. There are two main coat colors blue brindle and a yellowish wheaten. Other coat colors, like blue and tan, are rarer and not favored by some breeders. Glen of Amal Terrier size and weight The Glen of Amal Terrier is a small dog, low to the ground, with short legs and a muscular frame. Males weigh slightly more than females. Glen of Amal Terrier Common health issues The Glen of Amal is a fairly healthy breed with a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years. Some of its more common health problems include allergies, cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, heart disease, cancer, the leading cause of death for older dogs, a loose kneecap that slips out of place, and hip and elbow dysplasia, a genetic developmental disorder that causes arthritis and lameness. Another potential problem is Cushing's disease, which causes the body to produce an excess of steroid hormones. Common signs are increased appetite, sluggishness, hair loss, thin skin, and excess drinking and urination. A good breeder should ideally try to minimize or eliminate most genetic disorders, but there will always be health risks with any breed of dog. How to take care of the Glen of Amal Terrier The Glen of Amal is by no means an easy dog to care for. Its grooming, training, and exercise habits all require an engaged owner. But because of its more docile temperament, the breed might be a good choice for novice terrier owners who have little experience with this type. As with any other breed of dog, it is best to only work with high-quality breeders who adhere to strict health and maintenance standards. This should ensure the best possible start for your dog. Unfortunately, if you plan to adopt instead from a rescue shelter, it might be very difficult to find this dog in your area. There are very few rescue groups that specialize in the Glen of Amal. Regardless, after it comes home, the dog will need a thorough physical examination at the vet and regular checkups after that. Glen of Amal Terrier Maintenance and Grooming The Glen of Amal requires weekly brushes to prevent matting, particularly around its furnishings. It also needs to be hand-stripped two or three times per year. Hand-stripping is a method of removing the top layer of the coat from the roots by hand. Owners practice this with wire coat terriers to maintain the consistency of the entire fur. Otherwise, if the top layer of fur is clipped, the soft lower layer of the coat might dominate. If you plan to groom this dog yourself, then it might be a good idea to invest in a grooming table. Otherwise, you should take the dog to a professional groomer who has experience with terriers. This will keep the dog looking great and also minimize any tendency for shedding. In addition to these regular grooming habits, owners should also check the ears weekly, brush the teeth once or twice a week, and trim the nails whenever they grow long. Glen of Amal Terrier Training The Glen of Amal is an intelligent, trainable breed with a strong drive and can do spirit. But because of its independent mind and tendency to become bored easily, owners should break up training into smaller sessions maybe 5 or 10 minutes long, or whenever its attention starts to wander. Keep the training varied and interesting to avoid repetition. This breed is capable of learning a wide variety of different commands. In fact, it's one of the few breeds that can learn to sit on its hind legs. This has earned the trick its own nickname. The Glen Sit popular names for the Glen of Amal Terrier If you're looking for a good Irish name, then you might want to consider one of these options. Connor Molly Sean Fiona Murphy Colleen Katie Riley Brody Brielle.